Once upon a time, somewhere in the Austrian-Hungarian monarchy, a very big battle occurred. It was so big that it became a famous battle called Ukrik Turkey Battle. The aim of the battle was to decide whether the Hungarian language belonged to the Ukrik or the Turkic language family. On the Ukrik front line, Jozef Budenc, a German linguist, on the Turkic front line, Armin Van Beri, a Hungarian linguist, were the commanders. It had been taken for granted that there was an eastern homeland of Hungarians somewhere in the Ural Mountains called Ugria. This belief was based on a simple similarity between the toponym Ugria and the ethnonym Hungarus. In addition, a population was found in the area which called themselves Manshi. A connection between Manshi and Magyar was immediately established and considered as strong evidence for the Finnu Greek or Uralic theory. In this battle, Commander Budant tried out a new weapon called comparative method. However, as it was new, it wasn't worked out well yet. In this way, Budant didn't apply it correctly, or he didn't apply it at all. On the Turkic front line, Commander Van Beri and his soldiers tried to defend the thesis that Hungarians were of Turkic origin. However, their weapons were old-fashioned. Van Beri's method of Turkic Tatar word comparison to Hungarian was severely criticized by Budans. So the Turkic front fought for the Turkic origin of Hungarians, while the Ugric front, using scientific-looking weapons, insisted that the Turkish elements were only loanwords in Hungarian. At the time of the battle, many Hungarians rejected the possibility of a relationship with poor people with fish fat smell and fought for the glorious Turkish origin. The battle got a sentimental taste from the Turkic front and for that reason it was easy to win them from the Ugric front. It's fine that ratio wins over sentiment in a scientific battle. However, in this case there was no ratio as we shall see. It was widely believed that the existence of Finn Ugric family was proven beyond doubt first. Otto Donner's works gave rise to the Uralic family, noticing relationship between the Samoyed languages and the Finn Ugric family. In this way, the Uralic theory has a reason. It is still believed that the languages of the Ugria area, Vogul or Manshi, Ostiak and Hungarian, form the conventional Ugric note, even if it's generally recognized that Hungarian is radically different from the Ugric languages. It's radically different in phonology, morphology, lexicon and syntax. Hungarian is different in every aspect of the language. Can the Wiener Ugric front not see it? Of course they can. But where is it written that the truth must be the winner? The winner is the more politically correct one, the convenient one, not the true one. The truth is that Budenz has not claimed that there is no genetic relationship between Hungarian and Turkic. He imagined the big picture a Ural Altaic language family. He simply argued that Hungarian was more closely related to the Ugric note instead of to the Altaic languages. However, this view lost its validity in the modern theory and now the Uralic languages are usually considered unrelated to the Altaic languages. As one consequence, words of Turkic origin in Hungarian now are classified as long words instead of cognates. Budenz argued that most of the correspondences proposed by Van Beri are wrong, but not all of them. But how did he make his judgment? Unfortunately, no criteria has been found how Budenz decided whether a correspondence was a cognate or a long word. Moreover, many words in the Budenz corpus, for which he tried to find Finnic or Ugric parallels, are wrong according to the Uralic Etymological Dictionary. 
In addition, Budens didn't specify the sound rules which he worked with to establish the Hungarian Ugric correspondences. He often cheated a little bit to win the battle. He stretched the meaning of some words and gave a set of parallels without any reasonable explanation in order to get the desired correspondence. On the contrary, the Hungarian Turkic parallels have basically the same meaning and similar sound shape. 81% of his correspondences are not considered valid anymore in the modern literature. This is how the Finno-Greek and the Uralic theory was established. It was founded on a very weak basis, but it's still alive and it's still believed that it was well founded. Isn't it time to demolish it and build a new one on a strong basis? Share this video!